function or purpose. You know, what is the location, right? This. If you turn around, you turn around the still in the head, you will see where it goes on the top of the bell. It goes on the top of the bell. For what? Why? And it has something, it has component inside it can move. When you press, it can move. So who can tell why? What is the function of this? This is from the, this head, right? Yes. Okay. So let's turn around the head. Turn around. Turn around so they can see. Hold on, hold on, wait. Wait a second. Uh, here we go. Here. here we go. This is from here, guys, right? This is from here. You install this on the top of the head. On the top of the valve spring. Yes. You see some of them, they go inside not smoothly. So it means it's have dirty. It's have dirt inside. It must go inside smoothly. You see? It's dirty. So when you install this, you need to clean. You need to clean carefully. Clean everything. Clean the surface. The cap. It's called seat. It's called valve seat. So you clean the valve seat. Space for this. And then the core. Clean the side. And then you install this. It's not clean enough. I can feel that it's dirty. For example, this this one you cannot remove because it's so dirty. It's stuck. Yes, you need the magnet. You need a strong, yeah. strong magnet to move. This one okay, this one okay, this one okay, this one is not okay, you see? This one okay, this one okay. Can you tell, uh, tell us the function of this? Yeah, so. So if you don't know, I will tell you the function. Alright. So the function is this, that the function is this, you know, when the valve working, valve made by from steel. So when the engine is cold, when the engine is cold, the lash between this, which means the gap between this and the, the tip of the head, head uh, of the valve. Okay, let's say the connection between valve and this is bigger. Why? Because the this material and this material is cold, so they are shrink. When engine get warmer, it's extend. It will extend. So the gap between this and this it gets smaller. Yeah. So when it gets smaller, it affects the, op the operation of the valve. How much the valve will be open? I understand. But every millimeter is important. Every millimeter of the engine is important. So this will adjust the gap. This will adjust the gap. It means lash between the valve and the uh, valve and the head the cylinder uh, camshaft lock the cam lock this and this have a have a gap so this will adjust so this is between camshaft and the valve right this is between camshaft and valve so when your engine warm up this this uh, stroke, this um, uh, 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 valve, valve rod, get longer, get longer, extend. So this will help to adjust. The name of this is a uh, automatic hydraulic valve lash adjuster. It's very long. Why? Because it uses oil. It uses oil to adjust the gap. That's why it's called automatic. Hydraulic or opposite hydraulic automatic lash adjuster. Because this is Mercedes, so they use this technology. Many other cars they use only 
um, how to say this simple without the lash adjusting you need to remove replace if it's fail but this basically can long can work long time this can work long time you understand because made let's say the by oh, this and the oil or meshes mm -hmm. yes oil yes meshes. Yes. Yes. This is yes. oil. Oil supply and oil, oil. Oil gallery. Yes. Oil gallery. We will have oil directly into the here. Yes. Into the here. Into the here. Basically, when you replace, when you place this anyway, you place this anyway. This will go inside. Just come here and then go inside. Yes. Yes. You see. You see because you see they have a cut here. Cut here. It's go. It can turn anyway. Oil goes inside in this phase, yes, and then turn around and go inside. They have only one. They have only one. Yes, they have only one because it's going inside, and then it flows on the top of the valve spring. They have a hole here. They have a small hole here. 